I take Chicago's L train all the time, but today I'm taking it to another level. I'm living on the train for 24 hours straight. These are the rules. If I go to the bathroom, any time spent outside the train must be deducted from my total. And I have to do everything I do in a normal day. No exceptions. Chicago has eight train lines and I need to try all of them, especially the yellow line, which I've never been on. At 9.43 p.m., I boarded my train. I had a long night ahead of me, especially since I forgot my good mic, so I'm just going to be going off my iPhone. But there was no turning back now. The challenge had been started. I would film checkpoints along the way to assess my mental state. Here's what happened. We just hit our first hour. I'm still waiting at Midway Airport. I think it's time I got a snack. I think I deserve a snack. In hour two, I became a professional people watcher. I wrote down all the stuff I saw and you'll be able to find it below in the description. So I reached the end of the pink line and the door is open. This man marches in and we lock eyes. He's carrying a small Bible, wearing a white tee, and I have no idea what he's capable of. It was time to slide to the left. <laughs> he then dives head first under the bench and I don't know if he was looking for drugs or Jesus under there, but it was time to go to another car. And that's where I met Hector. This is the only footage I got of him, but we became best buds. We talked Bitcoin, Elon Musk, and about Puerto Rico, where his family was from. He then transferred with me to the red line, and we parted ways. I just hit four hours of being on the train. I'm feeling pretty good. I haven't used my book or my AirPods once. All right, it's hour five. I'm at the top of the red line at Howard, and I'm feeling pretty good. I mean. I haven't really like fallen asleep yet. I think I'm just gonna stay up all night. Oh, just walking the cars a little bit, getting a stretch. It's been, uh, it's been a quick five hours. So we're currently stranded at Fullerton. I guess there was a car on the tracks. Yeah, we're just kind of waiting for like an emergency bus. There's no trains running north or south. It's taken a long time. A lot of people are just calling Ubers, but I'm gonna stick this out. So it's been seven hours. Um, I'm travel. Yeah, I'm transferring to the Blue Line, and um, yeah, we're gonna go to the airport. It's been a starting to really feel pretty tired. But on the bright side, I, I do feel like the worst is over. Um, it's gonna be light soon. A lot of food places are opening up. I can probably get coffee soon. And yeah, I'm just gonna take the first train that comes. So I just hit eight hours. Feeling pretty, pretty numb. Just about to reach the end of the blue line. So I'm at the end of the blue line, just waiting for this train to get going. Uh, we're gonna get back to uh, the Where's loop. Hey. It's about, I think, like 6, 7 a.m. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. Um, I think it's gonna get more interesting the longer I stay up. I haven't slept and I've talked to a lot of people. It's been very social um, in a good way, not really the way I expected. I thought I'd be harassed more. It will be more confrontational, but honestly, it's been extremely easy. Uh, aside from staying up, that's pretty much the hard part. First bathroom break. I'm uh, gonna head to Union Station because that's one of the few places that's open right now. Then I'm gonna get right back to it. Okay, I just hit 10 hours of travel. Um, I just got a coffee at Union to help me out, start my morning right. Here's to the next uh, several hours. Okay, it's starting to look pretty nice out. Um, I'm on my 11th hour. Not entirely consecutively because there's been a lot of delays, but uh, yeah, it's been a trip. I'm uh, about to take this yellow line. Um, I've never ever been on it. After the yellow line, it was time to push the limits of the human body. I warmed up with some jumping jacks, did my usual pull-ups, crunch twists, and then my feet couldn't fit in here, so sit-ups were not an option. Don't forget to stretch, kids. After harming my body, I needed to eat. Box snacks weren't cutting it. I had to forage. Luckily, I found this apple ripe for the taking, but I dropped it on the floor. But then I realized there were bananas on the floor. The L was giving back. I 
I'm going on about 13 hours of straight transit right now. I'm gonna head on to the Green Line. Yeah, it's been brutal. I'm finding that these like sort of individual like private spaces on the train are sort of becoming this area I'm drawn to just because I've been out in the open for basically how many hours now? Like 12? We just hit 14 hours of transit and we're just getting to the end of the Green Line. We're at Ashland and 63rd and then we're heading on back. I'm about 16 hours in. Um, it's actually like getting way easier surprisingly. I'm not sure why. I think I've just like gotten over the hill of you know, feeling super tired and my body has just accepted that we're not sleeping. I'm, I'm getting a second wave for sure. 19 hours in right now. Pretty much at the finish line. You gotta finish strong. We're at 20 hours now of continuous travel. So I now have only four hours left. I am feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm just gonna go get three stops I missed on the Green Line branch of the Cottage Grove part of it. And I'll be done with the entire L system. One thing I did end up changing was that I did allow myself to count time on the platform towards the 24 hour total. Initially, I thought I was gonna deduct it, but there ended up being a lot of delays that were kind of outside my control. But I am going to go past the 24 hour mark to provide more time for when I went to the bathroom, which was three times. And this is the train taking me to my final L stops. In celebration of nearing the finish line, it was time to forge again. I found this tasty Italian sub. Unfortunately, there was jarred nowhere to be found, but I took what I could get. 24 hours on the L completed. I feel exhausted, but I'm proud I did this. You can catch me in the next challenge. Doors closing.